Hello to another important tutorial in SOLIDWORKS. We talked before that we're going to make a tutorial on relations. So in this tutorial, we're going to talk in, about relation in details. We talked before briefly, but now we're going to talk about relation is the next feature in the sketch menu. So let's start a sketch on the plane. And here we have the relations menu. You have display, delete, relation. If you expand it, you have another options as well. So now we don't have anything here. Let's draw some random lines. So we have two random lines here with no without having any relation or any definition or relation. So for that case, we can add the relation. So the relation, they are kind of defining some type of constraints in the sketch. So here, if you expand the display and delete relation, you have the add relation right now, if you go to the display or delete relation we don't have a relation to show so this add relation first expand add duration so now it's asking you to select entities so let's select this line and when you select that line here show you if there is existing relation in this case we don't have a relation um, the relation available to us to make so we have the horizontal, vertical, and fix. So if you select the horizontal, you will make your line horizontal or vertical. So you cannot add them together because they will be overdefined. So delete first the horizontal. Now your vertical relation is working. So when you are done, click OK. So let's activate the add relation one more time and select this line so we have these two lines are selected and here you have the available relations either to make them horizontal vertical or so if you select vertical you'll make the second line to be vertical as well I'm going to go to control C and I want to join these two lines together so I'm going to clear selections here try to find another selections you can select this point instead instead of the whole line and this point so we have these available relations so we want the merge relation and then you are done so without the closing with before clicking on ok you are able still to add more relation so let's add more relation between the origin and this point so select this point and the origin so we have these two points selected we have the three type of relation we can add we're going to select the coincident so now we have the center point and this line are intersecting so when you are done click ok now you can go and show the relation display and delete relation here you see the relation associated with point four so here you have the entities to select and if you expand it you can select all the sketch or some options or selected entities you can pick all the sketch you will have the vertical and the coincident relation available here in this sketch so now you're showing your relation also if you go here with the glasses you have an option to view sketch relation 
so if you activate it your relation will be all the time shown here and if you have many relation it can be kind of not showing the sketch real sketch clearly you can deactivate them and let them work when you want so one last thing you are also able to delete relation here you can display our delete this one is selected and you see it here on the sketch delete also you have other option suppress for example if you select this relation is selected here suppress and now you have this relation is suppressed so that means it has no effect right now unless you're going back to activate it so let's go back and split relation so we have this coincident relation is suppressed so uncheck this one okay so your relation is back to work and now you are not able to move it from the origin done so let's show some other type of relation let's draw a circle and okay you can also add relation without choosing this add relation i option you can simply select that circle control select this line you have it selected and here is the tangent relation you can apply it let's draw another circle there is also another way faster way to do you have this circle select this line and this small menu is up here it's showing you some relation that you can add so make tangent okay so let's make another line here select this line this line and here you have some of available relation so if you make collinear you have the collinear thing. okay and this again show the relation pick one of them click delete so you are able to delete from the keyboard as well and again you can move freely your entities so i hope this tutorial was useful and that you understand more about relations this important topic